Hi, my name is Kenny Pontopidan, and in this 2024 Release Wave 2 video, we're going to talk about report layout in general. So, lifecycle of layouts, telemetry, and a few more things like fonts. So, let's get started. In this section, we're going to talk about some new actions you got on the report layout page. Get custom XML for Word, create a new empty layout, and uh, also how to update layouts with latest metadata. So let me show you what this is about. So in Business Central, I will just quickly navigate to report layout page. Here we go. And you notice if you've been here before that there are a few new actions. First of all, let's take this scenario where your customer comes with a Word document for how they would like their sales invoice to look. But that Word document doesn't have the Word metadata with the, with the report fields and so on. So how can you, uh, how can you come about that? Let's uh, just find sales invoice. And uh, this report 1306, if I pick um, up here in the menu, the export report schema. This is a new action. If I click this, I will get an XML file downloaded. Now let's go and see how we can inject this metadata into the Word document from our customer. So here in Word, I let's just pretend that we use this template, invoice template. Maybe they just like that invoice from Office, and they, this, they say, this is kind of how we would like our invoice to look like. And um, then we would like to map our report fields to this layout. The way to do that is open the developer menu and open the XML mapping pane. And you notice here that we don't have the report definition yet, but we can now click Add New Part and uh, get to the document that we downloaded. Let's just try download here and find that XML we just got from Business Central. And if we go back here, now we have our standard sales invoice dataset report uh, metadata from Business Central, and we are ready to map this to, um, to the document. So that was the first use case of getting the, the XML word from Business Central that you can start from scratch with a Word document and then upload that to Business Central. The second thing is, what if you already have a report, but you would like to have a new layout for that report in Word, Excel, and so on? How do you do that? Well, let's just pick the general journal test report here. And if I choose new, up here as the action. I can, uh, maybe I can just give it a name, let's say word layout, and I would like to create a new word layout, and I can, I can now choose this option, create a blank layout from the report object. I could also make an Excel or RDL layout from this, and click OK, and now I have my word layout, if I export this and open it, open the Word file, I now have, um, if I go to Developer tab and open XML pane, I now have the general journal metadata and I can start writing my report. Let's say that you have an app that with some layouts and you would like to create a new one, uh, this can get you started with an empty layout. The last, the third demo is about updating a layout with recent metadata. So the scenario is that you have a, a layout in here, but maybe someone added a report extension that adds more to the data set. Um, how, how do you then get your layout updated with the recent version of the metadata? Well, there's a new action here that says, uh, update and export layout, where you simply choose this, and now you get a copy of, uh, of this layout injected with the latest metadata. 
Here's a neat little trick we added to the Excel layout feature. If you ever tried to look up things from uh, the request metadata tab in, uh, in Excel, you quickly get into writing formulas like this one, XLOOKUP, company name, blah, blah, blah. And no one loves writing these, they're complicated. So we tried to make this a little better or a little easier with what we call named formulas. Let me show you how to do that. All right, so here in Business Central, I will choose Excel reports and just pick any of the preview reports that we added in the last wave. Maybe it's a customer top 10. And I will say which customer I want. Maybe I, I, ju I just want all my customers. That's fine, download it. And here we get it in Excel. I can open it up. I will need to enable the content because we use Power Query. Right, so here you can see I have my top customer list. This is just a title. But if you look up here, you can see that the Kronos USA is a very complicated VLOOKUP formula. Um, so Kronos USA is just hiding down here. If I unhide all my worksheets and just pick aggregated metadata, you can see the company name is here on the requests property down here, Kronos USA, US. This is, these are all the values that came when I ran the report. And uh, I would just like to get to this, but I don't like to write a VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP like that. So instead, I can simply say equals, and then I can say report request page, and I can say company name. There you go. And now you have Kronos USA as the report request dot company name. So hopefully this will save you a lot of time when you write your reports. Anything you need to pick from the aggregated metadata worksheet is something you can simply use with these named formulas. Where do they hide? If I go to formulas and go to name manager, you can see all of them here that uh, all these named formulas are just synonyms for these complicated XLOOKUPs. So that's what named formulas is all about. In this release wave, we also added lifecycle telemetry for report layout changes on the report layout page. So you now get telemetry when a user changes the default layout, if they change layout properties, if they export, replace, or delete a layout. And you can see all the event IDs in parentheses here. If you want to do your own KQL samples or try to uh, analyze this telemetry, this URL here, aka.ms forward slash BC telemetry samples, is where we normally have KQL samples on our BC Tech repo. And there's a new sample file here report layout lifecycle.kql so you can try out this telemetry yourself. This silly last section with the title, all the little things we now did to make general reporting easier. I'll just mention three things. You can set the report file name with an event. If you use VS Code, there's a new snippet. And then we have some methods that are going to be obsoleted. And I'll show you, about, talk about that. So in case you want to set the file name for reports that are downloaded, there's a new event in town called on get file name. And you simply uh, subscribe to that. And, and then you can set uh, the file name um, in your, in your um, event subscriber. The second thing is if you use VS Code, there's a new snippet for data link item called uh, or data item. So you just say T data item or, um, and then you get it there. And the last is that we're going to deprecate report dot word layout, RDLC layout and Excel layout, because these don't make any sense anymore in a world where a report can have multiple layouts. So if you rely on these, you should move your 
layout to the rendering section in the report object. Um, and then, yeah, because you simply can't rely on a report having only one of each of these. All right, that's all we have about document layouts and reporting in general. But if you're more interested in diving into the new cool things we do with Word, check out this video where we'll go much more into details about the new Word add-in and all the new things you can do if you lay out your documents with Word. Thank you.